Hey everybody, Flash Weather AI meteorologist Dave Downey here. Hurricane Aaron becoming the first hurricane of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season as of the 11 a.m. advisory this morning. So now the question is, where's Aaron going to go and how strong is Aaron going to get? Six-hour satellite loop looping behind me. Let's take it full screen here. And I want to take you to what Aaron looks like now. This is as of 1945Z, so 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. The eye trying to take shape right there in the eastern eye wall convection, showers, and thunderstorms really getting going there. So Aaron rapidly trying to get itself organized. The Leeward Islands all right here. The Virgin Islands right up here, kind of off the screen. There's a visible satellite right here. It's a Category 1 hurricane, 75 mile per hour winds. It'll track west-northwest, just north of the northern Leeward Islands. We're talking Anguilla, Antigua. None of the British Virgin Islands or the U.S. Virgin Islands in tropical storm watches or warnings. There are tropical storm watches up there in the northern Leeward Islands. Here's the official cone for the National Hurricane Center. Aaron could be the best case scenario in terms of the track it's looking like Aaron is going to take. Moving west-northwest, again, north of most of the islands here, west-northwest, and then making the northward turn away from the Bahamas, away from Florida, and away from the east coast. Our flashcast future radar shows this really well, what's going to happen with Aaron over the next week or so. This is the simulated radar of what Aaron looks like now. Let's take this out to, how about Monday? This is the 18th, so Monday afternoon. There's the eye of Aaron picked up really well by our Flashcast Future Radar. There's the eye wall convection. At this point, likely going to be a major hurricane, at least Category 3. Maybe even Category 4 is what the National Hurricane Center thinks could happen. And then, then moving straight due north from just east of the Bahamas. Here we are on the 20th, so this is next Wednesday. There's Bermuda right there. So some outer rain bands likely on Bermuda, but this is still well away from the east coast, from the outer banks of North Carolina. Continues moving east, and then eventually gets picked up by the mid-latitude westerlies and taken rapidly out to sea. Let's zoom this out here. South of Nova Scotia, and it'll become extra tropical as it moves into colder waters. So at that point, this is next weekend or next Friday, Aaron's nobody's problem. However, we're just entering the peak part of hurricane season. The Climate Prediction Center puts this graphic out every Tuesday, kind of a long-term tropical outlook. So if we look at week two here, this is next Tuesday, the 20th, through the following Monday, they are outlining about a 40 to 60% chance, my face is in the way here of the bottom left, but that dark red contour means a greater than a 40% chance of a tropical cyclone developing there in the main development region next week. And our Flashcast Extended Radar picks this up as well. Here's the tropical wave. This is next Thursday, starting to get itself organized. And as it moves west across the Leeward Islands, it could intensify. I'm going to stop it here because there is a lot of uncertainty in the forecast extended models here. But this could intensify into another hurricane. The next name on the list is F-E-R-N-A-N-D. You think it's Fernand. It's not. It's Fernand. That'll be a fun name to pronounce. So Aaron about to be behind us in a several days, but all the computer model guidance is suggesting that Aaron is going to shoot the gap between the East Coast and Bahamas. Great news there. But the peak of hurricane season, mid-August through mid-October. Today's the 15th, exactly the middle of August. Got to stay weather aware, tropics aware for the next two months. That's what we're going to be doing at Flash. Live streaming coverage, if necessary, with Aaron. If it impacts any land so far, it looks like that's not going to happen. Thankfully, great news there. But if the next storm, Fernon, I, I cannot believe that's going to be the pronunciation of the next storm, but we'll move forward. 
and pronounce it correctly. So if Fairnon becomes a threat, of course, we'll provide live streaming coverage. And as the forecast for Fairnon, potential Fairnon, becomes more clear over the coming days, we'll let you know of the latest of the next system because, as we said, the peak of hurricane season is upon us. This is the future of severe weather and tropical cyclone weather prediction. This is Flash Weather AI.